this is queen v line back to you with another video and this latest installment of everybody versus beyonce includes beyonce matthew knows and matthew knows's child slash child's mother so let's dive right in as we all know beyonce is on a world tour for the act one renaissance and she just finished her european leg and now she is in canada about to come home to the usa to wrap up the renaissance tour according to experts once the tour concludes in September of this year. Beyonce stands to make an estimated $2 billion in revenue from tickets. Once again, according to reports, once the Act One Renaissance Tour concludes in September, Beyonce stands to make an estimated $2 billion in revenue from tickets. In addition, experts also state that Beyonce is expected to make another $171 million from merchandise alone. Once again, experts are also expecting Beyonce to make another $171 million from merchandise alone, assuming that Beyonce sells approximately 30,000 items based on an average price of $100. I am not surprised because Beyonce is that girl and she's smart and she is a boss. And it's all credit to her father, Math You Knows. As you may know, Math You Knows is a former executive and manager to Destiny's Child, Solange, and managing Beyonce's solo career up until 2011. In addition, Math You Knows was married to Tina Knows for over 30 years. After the couple's marriage was finalized in 2011. Matthew has moved on and remarried. In addition, Tina has moved on and remarried. Though they are no longer together, they have made it their business to stay in their children's lives. Now, this is where the controversy begins as Matthew Knowles' child's mother has come forward stating that her child does not have a relationship with his famous sister. I will leave a link in the description for the full article while I will read portions of this story. It states in part, one person unlikely to be invited over is the billionaire's 13-year-old half-brother Nixon, who stays just 10 miles away but remains estranged from his famous sister. Hard-working single mother Alexandra Wright, who has her son with Beyonce's dad, Matthew Knowles, was forced to move in a mobile home with the lad when she went bankrupt in 2014. Today, she reveals that Nixon asks, why doesn't that person love me? She also tells how she has broken down and cried while listening to one of the mega star songs, which she believes relates to Matthew leaving the 
singer's mom, Tina, which led him to dating her. In an exclusive interview, she states, if you listen to Ring Off, it's the story. It's not for me, but I know the timing. I was inside. And when I listen to it, I have goosebumps and tears. It makes me cry for them because everyone is in pain and there has been so much sadness. She goes on to state, there has not been any contact. The pain still needs to heal. My main concern has been dealing with a child that asks, why doesn't that person love me? It's a very human story, and I sit in the bathroom and cry sometimes because I don't know how to help him be his own person. But I believe our children and grandchildren will be much better human beings than we are. They have Snapchat and all that. I think they will find a way to open up and have that conversation. Right? later stated that she was bankrupt after having a court battle with math you knows over child support that cost her two hundred and fifty thousand dollars wright would state that she sought assistance from charity and was forced to move to a two-bedroom trailer until 2017, when she was able to return to renting her own apartment. Earlier this year, Alexandria moved into a five-bedroom house in one of Ellie's suburb. Alexandria would also state during the time of their relationship that they had joint credit cards and bank accounts and after the audit started, he just cut them off. She further stated, Was I scapegoated for what happened? By the family? No. By Matthew? Yes. Matthew Knowles has always refused to meet my son, according to Alexandra. He does pay child support. Having turned 13 earlier this year, Nixon is now facing some tough questions about his famous sister. She further stated that people will ask him straight up at school, are you the brother? She further states that being related to someone famous smothers kids like him and they lose their identity she further goes on in the interview by stating what does that kid think when i'm working 16 hours a day and trying to get accounts paid how does it feel she ends the interview by stating I think Beyonce is a lovely person and she has never done anything to harm me. I don't want anything from them. I just want my son to be free and to have a happy life. These are my thoughts. I'm very confused as to why Miss Wright is coming forward now about claims of an estranged relationship with Beyonce. Never once did she mention Solange's name. Matthew and Tina Knowles were married for 30 plus years and have two children together. So it boggles the mind how this woman claims of an estranged relationship with Beyonce but never brings up Solange, which makes me believe that her intent is malicious into persons bullying Beyonce into having a relationship with this child. 
I want persons to understand that I am not faulting this child. This child had nothing to do with what his parents did. It's all fun and games when you're messing with someone's spouse and not understanding the consequences when you are, are quote unquote inside. You did not come to the public when you were messing with this married man. You did not come public with your story when you and Matthew broke up. But now as your child is getting quote unquote older, you are trying to force a relationship between his older sibling. It is the sole responsibility of Matthew Knowles and Matthew Knowles alone to establish a relationship with his child and to ensure that the relationship between his children is also established. So we should not bash Beyonce, Solange, nor Mama Tina because this is solely square on Matthew Knowles. I also got a sense of entitlement from Miss Alexandria as if your working 16 hours should negate the fact that you entered into someone's marriage. And once you entered into that person's marriage, conceived a child within that marriage, and then turn around expecting his children to engage with your child. Scratch that. Only one of his child to engage with your child. Now, if Matthew Knowles' oldest children would like to have a relationship with your child in the future, then that too, that's okay. But... Here is a but. The reality is his children have only known their parents to being together all of their lives. So it's very difficult for them to invite their other quote unquote siblings, which was produced in their parents' marriage as if nothing happened. I need persons to understand that just because someone has money or someone is an adult does not mean that their feelings should be dismissed. And I think that Alexandria coming forward now when her child is at a critical age of being a teenager and quote unquote trying to find his own identity I think her putting him in the spotlight will only cause more confusion for him because persons are going to question him more because of this interview and bring unwanted attention his way moving forward. Lastly, I want persons to understand for every action, there's a reaction. And when those actions cause grave pain to persons around us, we must take accountability for those actions and try to move forward and not manipulating the situation to your will because you want persons to have sympathy for you now. No one is perfect, but we must respect person's boundaries and what persons will and will not accept in their orbit. In the words of the late Dr. Maya Angelou, she stated that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. 
and persons need to understand that how someone's feeling should be taken into account and be respected. As always, I thank you for watching. Please be safe out here and I will see you in the next video.